Whitney Waythor went through a lot during her time in My Big Fat Fabulous Life, her show on TLC. After her dancing video went viral, the production company gave her a platform to prove that being overweight doesn't always have a negative emotional and physical impact. However, after fans discovered her fun personality and saw her get into drama-filled and toxic relationships, the format switched to a reality TV show. Moreover, Whitney eventually shifted her focus to entrepreneurship with her business No BS Active, which picked up speed in late 2020. However, there were some untold truths and interesting speculation over the years, and we've listed them. While her life is anything but dull, and she does her best to empower women to be comfortable and confident in their bodies, Whitney used to be an average size, and even skinny and athletic at times. However, her problems with polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, began affecting her in her late teens. From being slim until she was 19, Whitney gained about 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms, then almost double that amount in college. Even worse, she was only diagnosed at 23, and that was the first time that she'd heard about the condition. Despite not dancing for almost a decade due to her weight gain, Whitney gained fame with her popular show on TLC between 2015 and 2023, showcasing her skills, tight-knit family, and a slew of toxic relationships. A new season may even uncover a secret that her father has hidden for over five decades. Many new fans don't know that Whitney Way Thor caught TLC's attention by posting a video entitled A Fat Girl Dancing onto the YouTube channel of 107.5 KZL radio station, where she worked at the time on the 27th of February 2014. After several interviews with media outlets such as NBC, ABC, and Huffington News, TLC offered to film Whitney Fat Girl Dancing, according to the BBC. However, the executives changed it to My Big Fat Fabulous Life when it premiered the 10 episodes starting in January 2015. Although Whitney also emphasized that her parents and brother supported her decision throughout her life, her sudden weight gain still shocked them to a degree. For a while, she felt a bit of disconnect, especially with her father, Glenn Thor. Despite telling him that she still felt confident and wanted to raise awareness that you can be healthy at any size, he said, Whitney, I know you're struggling, but you can't change the world. You have to fit into society's mold. However, after losing close to 110 pounds or about 50 kilograms and regaining it, Whitney decided to be herself and focus on her health instead of weight. Her father agreed, but warned her that she would run into trouble being so decisive. However, he changed his mind in 2015 and told her that he was convinced of her ability to positively affect the world, which is a story that brings Whitney to tears whenever she tells it. Her brother Hunter also distanced himself for a while because he didn't know how to interact with her, and she thought he was embarrassed with her. However, like her father, he changed his tune at one point and is now fully supportive of her. Many people don't know that Whitney Way Thor has acting experience, which helped her land the position of an on-air producer for the radio show, Jared and Katie in the Morning, in her hometown. First, in 2000, she was accepted into the Governor's School of North Carolina of Meredith College and their theater summer enrichment program. Two years later, she matriculated from Page High School in her hometown, then majored in theater at Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina. She later changed her majors to communications and public relations and subsequently earned a master's in journalism. Her brother Hunter, who fans sometimes call her twin since he's only 10 months older, is theatrically inclined too. To refine his acting skills, he attended Terry Knickerbocker Studio, the William Esper Studio, and the Freeman Studio, among others. He then moved to New York City and planned to relocate to Atlanta, Georgia to become a movie and TV actor. Unfortunately, he had to take a break when his mother, Babs, had a stroke on the 28th of December 2021 and instead spent time at home and in his mother's retirement community. Luckily, his fans saw him on screen in the ninth episode of the 13th season of the Blue Bloods series in January 2023, playing Wayne, a dog stealing criminal with a beard and a mullet. That was his first co-star role, and he noticed that his mother would have been proud of him, especially since he afterwards landed the lead role in a feature film. Moreover, Hunter appeared in TV shows such as Sky of the Damned and Skeleton Crew, and said that as a young teen, performing with two-time Golden Globe winner Kathleen Turner sparked his passion for acting. Hunter is also a guitarist for the metal punk band Plague of Jackals. Whitney spent most of her time in the U.S. and chose to stay close to family. 
However, following her college graduation, Whitney taught English to school children in South Korea for several years. Moreover, she revealed that she lived in Derry, the second largest city in Northern Ireland, for a few months in 2005. Whitney was surprised that many of her fans assumed that she was Christian. Consequently, she received several hateful messages for not ascribing to that religion. She stated that she's non-religious, but that she loves learning about all religions and is particularly interested in Islam. Although Whitney dated and became engaged to men during the show, many fans forget that she admitted to kissing women in the past. Moreover, she's candid about loving to be touched by both men and women and enjoying massages from both sexes. When asked about her sexuality, she defined it as heteroflexible. The description became relevant once she announced that she'd opened her relationship with her French boyfriend in October 2022, but then promptly went on a holiday to St. Lucia, where she got close to her ex-boyfriend Lenny Elhat, sparking rumors of rekindling an old flame. Because she seemed excited about her newfound freedom, some fans thought that she might also experiment with women. Whitney's published her memoir and first book entitled I Do It With The Lights On and 10 More Discoveries On The Road To A Blissfully Shame-Free Life. In it, she discusses self-acceptance and promoted fighting fat phobia, discouraging overweight people from feeling ashamed of themselves to the point of doing it with the lights off, among other things. One ex-boyfriend who fans didn't like seeing but couldn't stop tuning in to watch was Buddy Bell. He'd been her friend since college, and they had an undefined relationship. While he supported Whitney, she treated him poorly and even called him fat, which some viewers saw as hypocritical and contrary to her message. Many people don't realize that besides having a drug problem, specifically using cocaine, which was covered in the fourth season, but he has also been addicted to alcohol and is a criminal. Fans discovered that he was arrested on the 30th of July, 2014 for assaulting a government official resisting a public officer, public intoxication, and disorderly conduct at the Memorial Auditorium venue during a Queens of the Stone Age concert. While Whitney wasn't responsible for his actions and tried to help, fans were disappointed when she let him move in with her in 2015. That's because she seemed to force him to air his dirty laundry in public for drama, despite him saying, I'm just tired of looking like a loser in the fucking show. Things went further. Whitney criticized him for mistreating his then-girlfriend, Heather, by drip-feeding his love to her to keep her hooked. Then, while he was apparently in a relationship during the fifth season, the first episode began with Whitney kissing him. While she said that she had good intentions, viewers thought that they'd fabricated a romance to increase the viewership. Moreover, her pushing to get into a relationship was because she was feeling a vibe being with her boo bear was simply manipulative. But he openly stated that he started going to the bar after breaking up with his then-girlfriend Chelsea Rourke. After he finally sobered up, his friends and family advised him not to rush into a relationship as he was still vulnerable and Whitney knew that. Whitney started rumors in October 2020 that she was moving or quitting her business when she announced on Facebook that her business, No BS Active, a monthly subscription for fitness, dancing and lifestyle content, was taking a one-month hiatus. While the moving part was genuine, she never said that she'd broken ties with her business partner. Several things pointed to discord in their partnership. However, only six days before Whitney announced her plans, Ryan Andreas teased that he was releasing a mobile fitness app. This was training partners by Natalie and Ryan with his mother, Natalie Betsko, on the 5th of October, 2020, a day later. As if adding fuel to the flames, he uploaded a picture holding his friend's newborn baby, Aurora, and said he was a proud uncle. That wouldn't be a problem if his friend wasn't Chase Severino, whom Whitney broke off her engagement with in May of that year. Moreover, his daughter was conceived behind Whitney's back, which meant that Chase had cheated on her for some time, which she later admitted, adding that not living in the same city and slowly drifting apart caused it. Additionally, Ryan knew about it, since Chase was his friend from college, but never told Whitney, because he reportedly wanted to protect her from being hurt. A month later in early November, Whitney indirectly confirmed that she'd ended things with Ryan when she introduced Jessica Powell as her new business partner, who longtime fans remember as her fitness trainer. Thus, the business restarted without fanfare, with tweaks to the fitness program. Then rumors circulated that the two also went their separate ways after Whitney didn't immediately congratulate Jessica on her engagement to Isaiah Martin on the 11th of July, 2022. 
Luckily, nothing happened since Whitney was merely unavailable as she was vacationing in France, so they're still partners. Her confidence to post workout videos from the gym in a bikini or dressed up surprises many viewers. However, she says that she's regularly accused of being too fat and not losing weight with her workouts, a mix of Olympic weightlifting, CrossFit, and no BS active programs. She responded to that criticism with, you can lose weight or you cannot, but regardless, exercise will benefit you in a million other ways. With that in mind, she was curious about the reaction when she implemented a new workout routine and lost 50 pounds, over 20 kilograms, between late 2018 and mid-2019. After she found that people continued to berate her, instead of celebrating her weight loss, she concluded that their comments were just fat phobic and resolved to not read or listen to them. Another untold truth is that Whitney promised never to digitally alter her appearance outside of improving the photo quality. Thus, many angry viewers called her out for pictures she posted in June 2019 with her then-boyfriend Chase Severino, in which filters allegedly made her look thinner. In response, she posted a screenshot of her camera roll showing the unedited photo without filters, which looked identical, saved for the color hue and saturation. As additional proof of authenticity, a cleavage thumbnail picture was among the pictures of Chase and her family. Additionally, she's honest about all procedures that she's done or does daily. For instance, she had lip fillers at Sona Dermatology around July 2021 and reported being obsessed with them despite what people say. She also stated that she covers the bald spots from PCOS with topic hair fibers, has her eyebrows microbladed, dyed and plucked the gray hair strands, and sometimes metaphorically wears 10 pounds of makeup. Whitney is a proud cat owner and has called herself Cat Mama for years. Thus, viewers often see her three cats, Hench or Henchy, Ollie and Wanda. However, she surprised most people by getting a black poodle named Kaniki in June 2020. Her loyal fans knew that Whitney has a history of dog ownership. Her family had two dogs, and she had another dog after moving out of the family home. Another surprising fact is that Kaniki means poodle in French, and she visited her French boyfriend in Paris almost exactly a year later. That may be a clue, or only her affection for the French language. Whitney has been forthcoming about her struggles with food and medical issues, and has come a long way in her journey to advocate for body positivity and self-acceptance. She admitted to having a food addiction that began in middle school, forcing her to try several diets to reduce her calorie intake. Moreover, she had bulimia and confessed to purging food. Furthermore, Whitney is open about issues caused by PCOS, which makes her hair fall out, not only leaving bald spots, but also making pregnancy nearly impossible. Nonetheless, she used medicine to recover, including controlling her weight. Additionally, she visited a fertility doctor in August 2021 to freeze her eggs and learned that the number was twice as high as the average for women with her condition. Although Whitney's conditions weren't the primary cause, they contributed to the format shift from dancing to typical reality TV drama. Nonetheless, fans stuck by her, and TLC will likely greenlight a following season, especially if the news about a third sibling is trustworthy. While the focus has been on Whitney and her celebration of life, and it's likely that season 11, if it airs, will focus on her relationship with Lenny and getting closer to her father after her mother's passing on the 7th of December 2022, some rumors indicate that a new person will enter the family dynamic. In 2022, an insider came out with rumors that Hunter and Whitney aren't the only children of their father, Glenn Thor. They speculated that this would be the topic of season 10, since in 2018, TLC briefly focused on Glenn's ex-girlfriend, Keiko, but that Babs' death interrupted those plans. Glenn even stated Babs seemed to be a bit jealous of Keiko, and I'm not sure why because I've been hers for 40 years. She doesn't even want to touch her. According to the insider, Glenn had a boy with Keiko while he was with her in the Marines in Japan and is between 47 and 57 years old. Based on their information, Hunter and Whitney have only recently learned of his existence, and their shock would undoubtedly spice things up. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.